Hello, all right, let's look at this uh, equation involving logarithms. Okay, this is another type of log, uh, equation involving logarithms. They're using the concept of log to helping you to solve the equation. Uh, how, as you see that, uh, this one should be the equation involving indices, right? But why, how come we're using logarithms? Because four have the smallest base of two, five is the smallest base, six, they, three have the different bases. Okay, different base. So if this thing happened, log will be the best uh, way to solve. So this is a product, right? Uh, equals to this. So uh, you, you must put log both sides, okay? Log both sides. So log, LG means log base 10. So that I can solve the equation by bringing down the power, right? Multiply with 5 to the power x plus 2 equals to log. Uh, this is a very important step that you must decide early so that you won't do mistake. So now, after you put the logarithm, it may help you to bring the x down. So, <coughs> but you have to remember uh, the formula for log. Let's say if you have log base a x product with another y multiply, you can write this as an addition. Uh, this is another rule, addition rule for log. So, plus, right? So, this is where I can tear off this one into addition, convert it to become an addition first. Uh, so, plus with log 5x to the power of 2. Uh, this is another concept you apply. Alright? First, you log both sides, and after you see that there is a multiply, you convert it become an addition. So, uh, further simplify so that it would help you to solve the equation. So now you can bring down the x plus 1, then the log 4 will be in front, and x plus 2, log 5, and x plus 3, log 6. Okay, now you can see this is actually a linear equation. Assume this to be a number, a number, and number. This is something like a linear equation, right? It's not quadratic. So it's simple, you just need to be careful whilst you, uh, while you expand. So remember that log 4 is a number product with x plus with uh, log 4 plus with log 5 x plus with 2 log 5, right? Equals to <coughs> log 6 bracket x. We don't write this way, okay? We don't write this way log 6x. This one means 6x is in log. Okay, now, we shouldn't write this way. So, that's why I put a bracket. Uh, <coughs> so, plus with 3 log 6. Okay, so now you have all the unknown x, a number with unknown, and the number without the unknown. So, means that these three, I'm going to group them together on the left-hand side. So I can log 4x plus with log 5x minus log 6x, uh, which is equals to the right hand side. We have uh, the number without the x. Okay, without the x, we have 3. <coughs> 3 log 6 minus log 4 minus log 4 minus 2 log 5. Ah, this has become a group of number, right? So, further, after you get this line, you can factorize the x because you want to find the x, right? So, x have to be the subject. So, factorize out the x. <coughs> then you have log 4 plus with log 5 minus with log 6 inside the bracket equals to the uh, equals to the right hand side 3 log 6 minus with log 4 minus with 3 log uh, this one should be 5 2 log 5 sorry 2 log 5 so product of x with all this number, so you divide both sides by this number, which gives you x equals to 3 log 6 
minus log 4 minus 2 log 5 divided by log 4 plus with log 5 minus with log 6. Uh, so now it's the time for you to using your calculator. Uh, and this have you have you have to change it become a decimal form, right? So okay, this is how you key in, in using your calculator. You uh, using this fraction. So uh, three log ten six minus log ten four. Sorry, uh, four. Mm, minus 2 log all right bracket outside the bracket right minus uh minus 2 log base 10 5 all right below you have log base 10 4 yeah this have to be very tedious right you have to need to key in one by one okay so plus with log 10 uh, 5 minus with log 10 6 so uh, 6 you can double check your solution uh, your how you key in so you have you can check that 3 log 6 base 10 minus log 4 uh, minus 2 log 5 right should be key in correctly so you pressing equal then you have 0 0.6396. If you round off to three, uh, three decimal places, it will become 0 0.64. All right? 0 0.64 will be your solution for this problem. All right? So, but the most important thing you must remember that why you should put log both sides. Okay? As I mentioned earlier, these five have different base. Okay? Now, uh, even though you convert to the smallest base, they are different. So you need the help for log to solve this equation. Okay, that's all for this uh, concept.